Good afternoon. In today's lecture, we will discuss the factors influencing the continuous usage of enterprise systems. Despite the widespread adoption of enterprise resource planning or ERP systems, where many companies fail to gain significant benefits from ERP in the post-implementation stage, regardless of their initial implementation success. In this lecture, we will focus on this post-implementation stage of ERP systems and study the factors that impact the performance of ERP in this stage. Over the past few years, firms around the world have implemented enterprise systems to have a standard information system in their organizations, while millions of dollars have been spent on implementing ERP systems. Previous research indicates that potential users may still not use them. Therefore, in this presentation, we will identify the factors triggering users' adoption and usage of information technology, and especially ARB systems, as a critical prerequisite for productivity gained from ARB system usage. Where the success of any new system is mainly dependent on users' continued usage of that system rather than its initial adoption. Over the past years, companies look for ways of gaining competitive advantage against their competitors by implementing ERP systems. ERP is an integrated, customized, and packaged system that handles most system requirements in all functional areas such as finance, human resources, manufacturing, sales, and marketing. When an ERP system is introduced and applied, the organization receives many benefits such as reduced cost, improved response time, and enhanced organizational performance. It can deliver a great reward, but the risks they carry are equally great. Although expectations from ERB systems are high, ERB has not always led to significant organizational improvement, and most of ERB projects became over budget or late and finally fail. Several studies indicate that ERB projects' failure or as a result of poor project communication, lack of top management support, existence of cultural difference, low user acceptance levels, inadequate integration of systems, user dissatisfaction, and finally, inadequate training. However, the failure of the ARB system continues to increase and led researchers to find new solutions. In this respect, Technology acceptance model and adaptation of theory of recent actions is a powerful and commonly employed model for predicting and explaining user behavior and IT usage. Modern organizations are making large investments in complex information systems such as ERP systems. ERB is an extensive software system that integrates several business processes such as manufacturing, supply chain, sales, finance, human resources, and customer service activities, and they result in massive investments in software and in package customization. The other benefits of using ERB systems are the complete integration with all the business processes, reduction in the volume of data entry, upgradability of technology, compactness to other systems, compliance, and applying best practices. However, without successful implementation of the system, the projected benefits of improved productivity and competitive advantage would not be forthcoming. This requires change not only in the system, but also in process and other social dimensions and in the coordination between members of the organization. Implementing an ERB system causes dramatic changes that need to be wisely administrated to obtain the advantages of, of the ERP project. ERP implementation are very complex and expensive, but once they are implemented successfully, major improvements in business process, communication and interaction between users and customers will happen. Also, management can observe the reduction of cycle time of documents and the elimination of redundant data and operations. Unlike traditional software packages, whose weight was on technical aspects, 
An ERB systems development process shifts from writing software to understanding business processes. Having extensively business practice in different industries, vendors of ERP packages write their own versions of best practices for business rules, norms, and values into the software. In other words, these software packages have their own inherent business strategy and structure. Moreover, since these systems involve different people from different departments within an organization, they have a strategic implications and direct impacts on the company's society and culture. In this sense, adopting an ERB project is not a matter of changing software system, but a matter of repositioning the organization and transforming its business practices. Organizations need to understand the system adoption from the user's perspective to prepare their staff to face new challenges and learn how to make good use of the technology to reap tangible benefits. So the user's perspective of ARB system attracts resources attention in several studies. However, most of the current studies focus on system adoption and user satisfaction of the ARB system Limited research had focused on areas such as the usefulness of the system from the user's perspective, the drivers of process adoption by users on the factors influencing resistance, or the impact of process change on users of complex technology solutions like ARP. Therefore, there was a need to understand how different factors have influenced information systems deployment in organizations and to examine the impact of accepting or rejecting a technology from a human perspective on ERB technology acceptance. From this perspective, there are several theoretical models that explain user acceptance of information systems, such as technology acceptance model, computer self-efficiency, task technology fit, and theory of planned behavior. So to answer the question of among the different potential continued IT usage models, which model is more effective in predicting users' continued usage behavior for ARP systems? In this presentation, we will compare three well-known theoretical models that are used in predicting users' continued ARP usage. These models are the Technology Acceptance Model, or TAM, Expectation Confirmation Model, or ECM and theory of planned behavior. Theory of reasoned actions or TRA is concerned with the factors intended behavior. It is used to predict how individuals will behave based on their pre-existing attitudes and behavioral intentions, where an individual's decision to engage in a particular behavior is based on the outcomes the individual expects will come as a result of performing the behavior. The main purpose of the TRA is to understand an individual's behavior by examining the basic motivation to perform an action. TRA states that a person's intention to perform a behavior is the main predictor of whether they perform that behavior or not. The regulating component or social norms surrounding the act also contributes to whether the person will perform the behavior or not. According to the TRA theory, intention to perform a certain behavior precedes the actual behavior. This intention is known as behavioral intention and comes as a result of the belief that performing the behavior will lead to a specific outcome. Behavioral intention is important to the theory as these intentions are determined by attitudes to behaviors and subjective norms. TRA suggests that strong intentions lead to increased effort to perform the behavior, which also increases the chance for the behavior to be performed. In this figure, the theory of reasoned action is explained where the behavioral intention or BI measures the strengths of one's intention to perform a specific behavior. According to TRA, a person's performance of a specific behavior is determined by his or her behavior, intention, 
or BI to perform the behavior. And BI is jointly determined by the person's attitude A and subjective norm SN with a relative weight estimated by regression BI equal A plus SN. Attitude towards behavior or A is defined as an individual's positive or negative feelings evaluative effect about performing the target behavior. Beliefs are defined as the individual subjective probability that performing the target behavior will result in consequences of I. The evaluation term E refers to an implicit evaluative response to the consequence. According to TRA, a person's attitude towards a behavior is determined by his or her salient beliefs about consequences of performing the behavior multiplied by the evaluation of those consequences where A equals the summation of salient beliefs multiplied by the evaluation of those consequences. Subjective norms refer to the person's perception that most people who are important to him think he should or should not perform the behavior. TRA proposes that an individual subjective norm is determined by a multiplicative functions of his or her normative beliefs that are perceived expectations of a specific referent individuals or groups and his or her motivation to comply with these expectations. Where subjective norms equals summation of normative beliefs multiplied by the motivation to comply. Finally, TRA is general model and as such it doesn't specify the beliefs that are operative for a particular behavior. Researchers using TRA must first identify the beliefs that are salient for subjects regarding the behavior under investigation. With the growth and use of information technology by organizations, user acceptance of information system has become an important management issue for better management of resources and needs. One of the most used models to study ERB adoption is the Technology Acceptance Model or TAM. TAM is a widely applied IS model to explain end users adoption of IT. It is a powerful model of user acceptance of computer technology to explain the user's acceptance behavior in adopting information technology. This model is based on the principles of the theory of reasoned action to explain and predict the behaviors of organizations individuals in a specific situation. In TAM, users' beliefs determine the attitudes towards using the system while behavioral intention in turn is determined by these attitudes towards using the system. Finally, behavioral intention leads to actual purchase behavior. The original TAM model consists of perceived ease of use or PEOU, perceived usefulness, attitude towards using, behavioral intention to use, and actual use. However, perceived usefulness and perceived ease of use are the most two important determinants of system usage and intention. TAM proposes that an individual's behavioral intention to use a system is determined by, the, by two beliefs, perceived usefulness and perceived ease of use, as the primary relevance of computer acceptance behavior. TAM proposes that perceived usefulness and perceived ease of use are the two primary relevance for computer acceptance behavior, where in ERP systems, the system design features or external variables indirectly influence the attitude towards using the system through the direct impact of perceived usefulness and perceived ease of use. Perceived usefulness is defined as the degree to which a person believes that using a particular system would enhance his or her job performance. Perceived usefulness and TAM model 
reflects tasks related to productivity, performance, user motivation, and effectiveness. Studies have reported that perceived usefulness is positively associated with system usage. While perceived ease of use is defined as the degree to which a person believes that using the system would be free of effort. According to TAM, perceived usefulness is also influenced by perceived ease of use because other things being equal, the easier the system is to use, the more useful it can be. People can perceive ease of use as more likely to believe that and the ease and usefulness of the system. Studies reported that in post-acceptance stage, perceived usefulness directly influenced users' intention to continue using systems, while perceived ease of use has significant influence on intention in pre-acceptance stage, but once users begin actually using the system, it rationally became less important information of intention Therefore, we will focus on perceived usefulness. Like theory of reasoned action, TAM assumes that computer usage is determined by behavioral intention, but differs in that BI is viewed as being jointly determined by the person's attitude towards using the system and perceived usefulness. The A-BI relationship represented in TAM implies that people form intentions to perform behaviors toward which they have positive effect. The UBI relationship where BI equal A plus U is based on the idea that within organizational settings, people form intentions toward behaviors they believe will increase their job performance over and above whatever positive or negative feelings may be made towards the behavior. This is because enhanced performance is involved by achieving several rewards related to the content of work itself, such as pay increase or promotions. If a fact is not fully activated when deciding whether to use a particular system or not, one's attitude would not be expected to completely capture the impact of performance considerations on one's intention. So, the UBI relationship in TAM represents the resulting direct effect, assuming that people from intentions towards using computer systems based on how it will improve their performance. TAM does not include subjective norms like in TRA as a cause of BI. It is difficult to separate direct effects of subjective norms on behavioral intention from indirect effects using the attitude towards using the system. However, subjective norms may influence be either indirectly by compliance, where in some cases people may use a system in order to comply with mandates from their supervisors rather than due to their own feelings and beliefs about using it. The standard measures of subjective norm do not appear to differentiate compliance from accepting and identification. Previous IS research contains empirical evidence in favor of the ABI and UBI relationships represented in the BI equal A plus U. Usefulness and similar variables such as perception of performance impacts, relevance, and importance have been linked to usage. According to TAM, A is jointly determined by U and EOU, where A equal perceived usefulness plus perceived ease of use. As discussed above, TM suggests that perceived usefulness has a direct effect on the behavioral intention over and above the attitude towards using. And U influences E as well. So 
Perceived usefulness has a positive influence on attitude towards using. Perceived ease of use also has major effect on E. TM differentiates two basic mechanisms by which perceived ease of use influences attitudes and behavior by self-efficiency. The easier a system is to interact with, the greater should be the user's sense of efficiency and personal control regarding his or her ability to do the sequence of behavior needed to operate the system. Efficiency is one of the major factors to achieve basic motivation. The direct E or U, a relationship, capture the basic motivating aspects of perceived ease of use, improvements and Perceived ease of use may contribute to increased performance. Effort saved due to improved perceived ease of use may be reorganized to enable a person to accomplish more work for the same effort. To the extent that increased perceived ease of use contributes to improved performance, so you or you would have a direct effect on you where Perceived usefulness equals E or U plus external variables, indicating that perceived usefulness can be affected by different external variables over the above E or U. For example, consider two ERB systems which are equally easy to operate. If one of them produces more accurate outputs, it would likely be seen as the more useful with value U system, despite the perceived ease of use of the other system. Perceived ease of use is determined by external variables, where E or U equal external variables. Many systems features, such as menus, icons, and touch screens, are intended to enhance usability. Also training, documentation, and user support consultants are another external factors that may impact perceived ease of use. Both perceived usefulness and ease of use are influenced by external variables. External variables provide the bridge between the internal beliefs, attitudes, and intentions represented in TAM. The technology acceptance model predicts that external variables are expected to influence technology acceptance behavior indirectly by affecting beliefs, attitudes, and intentions, demonstrated that adopting and using specific IT is not just dependent on the characteristics of the IT, but is also dependent on other external aspects that, such as organizational or social context and individual characteristics and attitudes. TAM was formulated in an attempt to achieve these goals by identifying a small number of fundamental variables dealing with the cognitive and affective determinants of computer acceptance and using TRA as a theoretical backdrop for modeling the theoretical relationship among these variables. Based on the fundamentals of human-computer interactions and social-technical system theory, technological and individual user characteristics as determinants of perceived usefulness and perceived ease of use. Technology, organization, and user are considered as important actors and predicted that factors relating to individuals and organization will together contribute to the adoption decisions of the ARB users. These variables could be categorized as individual, organizational, and technological characteristics some individual characteristics of information system users have been empirically shown to be associated with different levels of information system usage, such as computer self-efficiency that measures users' confidence in his or her ability to use technology, while organizational characteristics include organizational support, which affects behavioral intention to use the system and education and training 
provided to management and staff with the logic and overall concepts of the ERB system. Technological characteristics include technological complexity as the extent to which new technology is more complicated for its users than the previous technology used for the same or similar work and represents an increase in the number of things the user must be doing at once. Another technological variable is the technological compatibility where common problems in adopting ERP systems are widely recognized and the poor fit between ERP system and business process where systems are developed to support business processes such as manufacturing, purchasing, distribution, and so ERP implementation and the business process should be closely connected to the ERP system is explained by competitive pressure and system compatibility. A key purpose of TAM is to provide a basis for tracing the impact of external factors on internal beliefs, attitudes, and intentions. TAM was formulated in an attempt to achieve these goals by identifying a small number of fundamental variables dealing with the effective determinant of computer acceptance and using TRA as a theoretical backdrop for modeling the theoretical relationships among these variables. These variables could be categorized as individual, organizational, and technological characteristics. Individual characteristics of information system users have been associated with different levels of information system usage such as computer self-efficiency, that is a judgment of one's capability to use a computer and is an important predecessor of perceived usefulness. Computer self-efficiency plays an important role in explaining usage intention by perceived usefulness modeled and tested the determinants of perceived ease of use and found that an individual's computer self-efficiency is a strong determinant of perceived ease of use and behavioral intention. The organizational characteristics support in organizations which use a technical system organizational support affects behavioral intention to use the system. Organizational support was categorized into technology support and management support. Technical support is defined as people assisting the users of computer hardware and software products, which can include hotlines, online support services, machine readable support knowledge, bases, faxes, automated telephone voice, response systems, remote control software, and other facilities. Top management support is defined as the willingness of top management to provide the necessary resources and authorities or power for project success. In an ERB system environment, if the organization provides sufficient support to staff for their task, staff are more likely to enjoy their work and improve their performance through usage of new systems. The implementation of an ERB system brings far-reaching changes in an organization and its processes. So top management must release that communication is essential to ensure that employees understand and accept the changes brought about by ERB. So organization support is critical for successful adoption of ERB systems. The, the implementation of systems often requires considerable changes to organization structure, staff roles and jobs, reward systems, control and coordination mechanism, and work process. Therefore, top management support in the form of commitment and communication related to system implementation is critical for correctness of the implementation process and staff self-confidence following the implementation. So organizational support is positively connected with the factors of TAM, while organizational support has been found to be critical for successful adoption of new systems. Little work has been done on the effect of internal technical support on technology acceptance. Training and education refers to the process of providing management and 
stuff with the logic and overall concepts of the new ARB system that are extremely complex and demand hard training. Therefore, training is an important factor for successful implementation. Lack of training has been one of the important reasons for failure of an ARB system. Training and education will reduce the staff worry and stress about the use of the new system and provide better understanding about the benefits of the system for their tasks. Training and education influence user beliefs towards the system and training programs increase the user's confidence in their ability to use them. Training also provides managers with mechanism to spread useful and relevant information about the new system and how it fits in with the existing and proposed systems. Technological characteristics include the technological complexity, where ERP systems similar to other management information systems are often perceived as very complex and difficult to implement technology. The technological complexity is defined as the extent to which a new technology is more complicated for its users than the previous technology used for the same similar work and presents an increase in the number of things the user must do. The complex nature of ARB systems limit the amount of knowledge that users can absorb before actual usage. Higher complexity results in higher mental workload and stress. The complexity of the ARB system could negatively affect users' attitudes towards using the system. The technological compatibility were common problem in adoption of ARB systems are widely recognized to be rooted in the poor fit between ERB systems and business processes. In ERB implementation, systems are developed to support business processes such as manufacturing, purchasing, and customer service. So ERB implementation and business processes should be closely connected. In business process, the ARB system is explained by competitive pressure and systems compatibility. Compatibility is defined at the degree to which an innovation is perceived as being consistent with existing values, needs, and past experience of potential adopters. There are four dimensions ref reflecting the definition of compatibility. The compatibility with existing work practices, compatibility with preferred work style, compatibility with superior experience, and compatibility with existing values. Technological compatibility is considered as one of the technological characteristics that affect the usage of ERP systems. It refers to the compatibility of ERP system with the existing systems in the organization where the knowledge gained from past and present experiences with technology Therefore, procedural and data compatibility are critical to the acceptance of system by the staff, while incompatibility will negatively affect system productivity, efficiency, staff satisfaction, commitment, and motivation. TAM is implemented and tested in online banking, online shopping, internet stock trading, e-government, e-learning and e-commerce. Recently, TAM has been applied to ERB system to explain the complex implementation and adoption issues of stakeholders and end users. The expectation confirmation theory or ECT claims that consumers intention to repurchase a product or service is influenced by their prior experience with the product or service. Where satisfactory experience is a key enabler for building and retaining long-term consumer relationships, ECT is widely used in customer behaviors to study consumer satisfaction, post-purchase behavior such as repurchase, customer complaints, and service marketing. The IS user's resistance decisions is similar to consumer's repurchase decision because both decisions follow an initial acceptance of purchase decision. 
are affected by the initial use of IS or product experience and can potentially lead to ex post reversal of the initial decision. ECM protects users' intentions to continue usage of an information system with three predecessor concepts. The first is user satisfaction with the information system. Second is the extent of user's confirmation. And finally, post-adoption expectations represented by perceived usefulness. Expectation confirmation model was proposed by integrating the ACT model and TAM model. The most significant difference between ACM and other models is the use of pre-consumption and post-consumption factors. ECT examines both pre-consumption and post-consumption variables, while the ACM focuses only on post-acceptance variables because the effect of any pre-acceptance variables are already captured within the confirmation and satisfaction constructs. Second. ACT only examines the effect of pre-consumption expectation. And finally, post-adoption expectations is represented by perceived usefulness in ECM, IS continuous context being the only belief that consistently demonstrates influence on user intention across temporal stages of IS use. Next, we are going to Evaluate the impact of confirmation on perceived usefulness and satisfaction. There are five assumed links in ECM. First, a user's satisfaction has positive influence on his or her intention to continue usage of an IT. A consumer level of satisfaction is the main factor in the consumer's decision to repurchase products or to use service which is similar to the continued usage of IT products or services. Also, empirical evidence supporting the role of effect or attitude in defining IT adoption and tension provides indirect support for this link in that satisfaction is a type of that effect. Next, a user's level of confirmation and Perceived usefulness, that is post-adoption expectation, are two key determinants of satisfaction. Since a user's confirmation implies that he or she achieves expected benefits through the usage experience with the target IT, the other way around the disconfirmation, so it affects the user satisfaction level completely. In expectation confirmation model, perceived usefulness has a positive impact on satisfaction by acting as a baseline of reference against confirmation judgments. Prior consumer behavior research found that the higher or lower a user expectations is, the higher or lower is the following satisfaction level. Moreover, IT adoption studies have consistently found that perceived usefulness is the most important factor in defining users' adoption intentions. In this light, ECM assumes a direct positive link from perceived usefulness to a user's intention to continue IT usage. And finally, the level of confirmation resulting from the usage experience is theorized to be positively affected perceived usefulness. ECM suggests that perceived usefulness could be adjusted by confirmation experience, especially when a user's initial perceived usefulness is not concrete because he or she is not sure what to expect from the usage of an IT system. Another theoretical model used to explain the adoption is a theory of planned behavior that links one's beliefs and behavior. The theory states that intention towards attitude, subjective norms, and perceived behavior control together shape an individual's behavioral intention and behaviors. It has been applied to studies of the relation among beliefs, attitudes, behavioral intentions, 
and behaviors in different fields such as advertising, public relations, advertising campaigns, healthcare, sport management, and sustainability. This theory proposed that attitude could not totally explain one's behavior, therefore based on TRA, the subjective norm or social factors and the perceived behavioral control also had an important role in explaining adoption. In other words, if people evaluate their behavior as positive and if they think they are important, others want them to perform the behavior, this results in a higher intention or motivation and they are more likely to do so. The key concepts of the theory of planned behaviors include attitude, subjective norm, perceived behavior control, behavioral intention, and behavior. As shown in the figure, attitudes towards a behavior were an individual's positive or negative evaluation of self-performance of that behavior is the degree to which performance of the behavior is positively or negatively valued. It is defined by the total set of accessible behavioral beliefs linking that behavior to different outcomes and other attributes. Where the individual's beliefs about the potential results of a particular behavior will produce a given outcome. Subjective norms reflect an individual's perception of the behavior, which is impacted by the judgment of significant others, such as parents, friends, and teachers. Looking at subjective norms, the impact of people in one's social environment on his or her behavioral intention, the beliefs of people weighted by the importance one attributes to each of their opinions will impact one's behavioral intention. For example, one might have some colleagues who are eager to work on the ARB system and encourage you to join them, while your manager might prefer a more inactive style and discourage those who work. The beliefs of these people, weighted by the importance you attribute to each of them, will influence your behavioral intention to work and will lead to your behavior to work or not to work. In the perceived behavioral control, an individual's perceived ease or trouble in performing the behavior, defined by the total set of accessible control beliefs, where an individual believes about factors that may simplify or inhibit performance of the behavior. Intention is an indication of an individual's readiness to perform a given behavior based on attitude towards the behavior, subjective norm, and perceived behavior control, with each predictor weighted for its importance in relation to the behavior and people of interest. In the behavior component, an individual's observable response in a given situation with respect to a given target is considered a function of compatible intentions and perceptions of behavior control in that perceived behavior control is expected to moderate the effect of intention on behavior such that a favorable intention produces the behavior only when perceived behavior control is strong. In summary, ERP systems are different from other innovations of IT because the socio-technical challenges due to the complexity involved in the implementation process and the different types of end-users. The implementation of ERP systems in an organization is often go with important changes in organization structure and ways of working. It is important for organizations to understand the system adoption from the user's perspective to prepare their staff to face new challenges and learn how to make good use of the technology by translating it into tangible benefits. Where the failure causes rise from the interactions 
among people, tasks, environment, and technology. Organizations should understand and identify factors in terms of individual, organizational, and technological characteristics when a complex information system such as ERB is implemented in the organization. There are several theoretical models that explain user acceptance of information systems, including the technology acceptance model, expectation confirmation theory, and theory of planned behavior. The technology acceptance model is a widely applied IS model to explain end users' adoption of IT. It is a powerful model of user acceptance of computer technology. This model is based on principles of the theory of reasoned action to explain and predict the behavior of organizations' individuals in a specific situation. ECM predicts users' intentions to continue usage of an IT system with three predecessor concepts. First, user satisfaction with the IT, then extent of user confirmation, and finally, post-adoption expectations represented by perceived usefulness. Expectation confirmation model was proposed by integrating the ECT and TAM models. The key purpose of theory of planned behavior is to provide a basis for tracing the impact of two primary factors of user intention. These factors are subjective norms and perceived behavioral control. Thank you and see you next lecture.